Well, hey y'all, I'm Dusty with Fox Holler Homestead and today is another day. It is Tower Crane Tuesday. It's always exciting. Now, we have something very, very specific I'm going over today and uh, it's been questioned, uh, or it's actually the question has been asked as far as how do I know what I can pick up or how much, how do I know what it is that I'm picking up? How do I know how much it weighs? Um, there's so many questions as far as that goes. Where can I take it from that point? How do I know how far I can take it? Etc. Etc. And I'm going to go over each and every one of those things. Um, the differences between a hydraulic mobile crane and a tower crane as far as the load charts. And it's very, very different. But uh, before I start, please make sure and hit that uh, thumbs up. It's immensely helpful for the channel. Helps out a lot. And please always leave a comment. And if you have questions, please ask questions and I will always, uh, I'll always respond to them and it will also give me good ideas for making further videos. So um, let's get to it. So here you go. This is my load chart. Now I know it's somewhat different from uh, what you may have heard or may not have heard, but this is the entirety of my load chart. Now how I'll explain this is that the top section from right here all the way out this is a two-part line. Now, in the last video that I went over, I explained what two-part and four-part is. This bottom part is all my four-part four uh, capacity. Now, you'll see these different lines. Let's just concentrate on the top right here. These lines, the extended lines, are different jib lengths. So, we go all the way from 147 feet, 147.6 feet, which is the shortest amount of jib. That is your jib right there. The shortest, like I said, is 147 feet. The longest configuration is going to be a total of 262 feet. Now, because my jib is 262 feet, we're gonna go up to this one line and we're gonna start off right here. Now, the capacity this is an SK57532. So this number right here, this is the model of the crane. It's a Terex uh, or Piner. And the 32 stands for 32 metric tons. Now that's the maximum that this crane can handle. Now, because I am 262 feet of jib, I can't, I'm unable to do that. So number one, to even lift this much, just because it says that doesn't mean that I can lift that. Now the crane has to be in the right configuration and it has to, meaning that the, the jib length has to be a certain um, length to be able to pick that up and you have to have a certain part of line. So if you look down in the four part down here, again, that's 32 metric tons, not standard. You go down to the bottom on a four part and then you'll get your 70,548 uh, pounds, Seven, 70,548 pounds. Um, the longest jib configuration that you can pick that amount of weight up is going to be right here. And that's going to be a 230, well, 229.7 foot jib. But again, this is in four part. Now, the most you can, uh, or it, let's just say for example that we do the 262 feet, which is my jib. The most that I can pick up in this crane with this configuration is going to be 63,724 feet. Now that's gonna be in a four part, four parts a line, but I don't have a second trolley. This crane was not, um, it was not erected with a second trolley, so I have one trolley. Now to do a four part, I would need another trolley which I would eventually trolley in, connect to that one, uh, drop the connector to that piece right there, and it would join up, and then you would have two blocks. There's another block right here. You would join up, and it would you'd run two more lines off of this trolley. But because I can't, we're going to stick, like I said, to this two-part. So the most that I can lift is going to be 35,274 pounds. And I can take that out to a 49.2 foot radius. So about a 50 foot radius. Now that radius is going to be from 
the base of the crane out to 50 feet. So if you stood at the bottom of the crane and you walked out 50 feet from the crane, that's about how far I can take that, 35,274 feet. Or, two, sorry, 35,274 pounds. Now, the most that I can uh, send out to the very, very end is 262 feet. I still have a capacity of 8,598, just over four tons. So hopefully that explains that. You'll see those different uh, weights throughout here. And again, this top line is telling me what radius I can take it out to. Now that you've seen the load chart, now we have an LMI system. The LMI system, LMI stands for load moment indicator. That is a computer system that basically uh, gives me uh, an understanding of, let's say, um, the amount of weight that I'm picking up. Because again, how do we know what something weighs? Well. I have my load moment indicator that tells me the weight of each object that I pick it up. That will give me a better understanding, but it also has limiters on there. Now there's limiters that um, will show, it shows the distance of the trolley as far as radius goes, and it shows my max. Now my max is going to be, um, you know, whatever it is that the object weighs. So let's say it's 10,000 pounds. It's a 10,000 pound item that I'm picking up, the load. Now I can easily look up at my load chart up here and I can go up to 10,000 pounds. So 262 feet, go back to 10,000 pounds. I'm safe up to 230 feet. Now, the cool thing about tower cranes compared to mobile cranes is um, we don't have an op or on this crane, we don't have an override that basically allows us to pick up any more. Now the crane is rated for way more than what it is actually limited at. Now, just because my load chart says this, again, the crane is engineered specifically so it can pick up way more than that and somewhat safely. I mean, obviously it's gonna get into gray areas, areas but um, the, um, derate the crane so that it will only be able to lift up a certain amount like they'll derate it down to 75 percent of what its max capacity what's its what its max ability is going to be now i'll show you the lmi system the load moment indicator and we'll go over a few things on there so as i sit in my seat there's my feet there's my jib this is my view i have a 180 degree view maybe not so much over there but there's the my crane limits uh, and i have gone over these before but this is my load moment indicator my lmi system now i'm trying to get the reflection but you'll see up at the top this zero right here what that zero is oops what that zero is is that zero tells me how much weight i currently have on the old man or the uh, hook block this 30 right here is going to tell me my radius what my current radius is so as you can see, the trolley is out there. The truck from the base of my crane, which is right here, or from the actual uh, tower crane or tower out to that trolley is going to be 30 feet. Now I have a 262 foot max. So let's just say, like I said, the 10,000 pounds, I'll say I pick up 10,000 pounds it's going to show on here 10,000 pounds. Now I can look up at the load chart, um, but the cool thing about an LMI system or the configuration is that it will show me on here, this little line right here, um, once I get to the max amount or the max radius of 10,000 pounds, it's actually going to trip this and it will show me Let's just say, how much was it? Uh, it was 130 feet. So this will actually, 10,000 pounds, it will automatically go to 130 feet. And this will max out and the crane will basically shut itself off. That's the max radius, it's two part rope. You have a 3.2% lean. Down here is actually um, the wind. So it will tell me what my wind is. Now, down here, I have explained this once before. This is the tower crane itself. 
here's where my trolley is. Now, I'm gonna trolley out real fast. Let's see, I can trolley out, as you can see, trolleying out right there. You can see the trolley going out. Now, with that being said, all the ones, all the colors in dark have been set parameters. Once we get onto the job site, these parameters are going to depend on power lines, roads, etc. Um, they do. The crane does have a limiter, which means basically, if I swing, let's say I swing towards my south. See the crane right there? The crane is moving. And let's say we come to this stop. I'm gonna stop the crane from swinging. And if I was to trolley out to that dark area, which is technically that road, the crane will eternally, ultimately the crane will stop. It will not allow me to go past that moment or that, uh, that area because again, these are set up prior to um, any kind of work that is done. As soon as the crane goes up, there's all kinds of configurations that basically the tower techs come up here and uh, they do their little thing with the computer. I don't do any of that. Um, there is a, a very, very large amount of uh, computer systems and electronics that go into running a tower crane. Again, this doesn't run on uh, any kind of fuel other than electricity. It's totally electric. Um, and that's something I don't, I don't do. Um, I think that those guys are amazingly talented and, uh, I, I, I got nothing but respect for them. Um, now I think that's pretty much it for that, for the load charts and your LMI system. That's basically how we determine what we're able to pick and how far we can take it out. Now, again, Every crane is different. Every job is different. The cranes are specifically built. They're specifically built and configured to fit the specific job that they're going to be on for an extended amount of time. And that way they can access and pretty much you'll always see a tower crane. Sometimes you'll see them on the outside of the building, the self erectors. Um, but uh, for the most part on, on projects like the one that I'm on, which is a link extension, um, it is basically a light rail system or a train that uh, this will be a huge uh, parking garage. The train actually comes into the building. I, they built the crane directly in the center. And a lot of times, not every time, but a lot of times and more often than not, if the crane is built in the center of the project and the building is erected around it, at some point in time, they will pull the crane out once the crane is done doing its work and that will turn into an elevator shaft. Kind of cool. But uh, I really appreciate you guys uh, st spending time to watch this. I hope that it's interesting. I hope you learned something. Please leave comments. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, and I will go over them specifically. Um, I'll try and make videos about uh, uh, individual questions, what have you. One of the next uh, Tower Crane Tuesdays that's coming up is, uh, and you need to stay tuned because this is the number one question that I get asked every single time. I, can you imagine what it is? Yeah, it's where I go to the bathroom. Yeah, that's my number one asked question. And because I'm up here anywhere from 8 to 15, 16, 17 hours a day sometimes, it's pretty interesting. Stay tuned. But I got nothing but love for each and every one of you. Again, my name is Dusty. Many blessings to each and every one of you out there and your families. And uh, until next time, we'll see you soon.